Okay, here we have our new NetIS 24 port switch switcher that we're going to install in our network here in the home network. We decided to do it on a more professional basis here since we're adding more and more to it all the time and it's getting kind of hard to figure out the wiring. So we ordered that for 99 bucks and we're going to put that in the network. Up there we got our buck transformer. Brings in 240 volts and we got on the line there and cuts it down to 220 to run one of my amps. That runs a 1200 watt power amp over here. This is a 220, that stayed at 240, I didn't buck that down. That's 240 that feeds the other amp, 1500 amps, or 1500 watts, sorry, 1500 watt alpha. And here we got our rack of UPSs. It's a power supply for the 1200 watt amp right there. Switches for the fans on the rear panels. My coffee, gotta have that. Some more UPSs there. That's what powers all the equipment in the equipment cabinet here for the amateur radio system and the main computer, the main control computer. So our first job is to to figure out our which wires go where in here we should have made a schematic of this we got a few wires cables and switches and outlets and antenna lines and we got a little bit of every kind of circuit you can imagine back here in the in our equipment cabinet so this blue line here I've been working on that's the that's your main internet line to the main computer. So we're going to recable that. And we're going to move the modem back here up. We decided to make this top rack here the uh, network equipment rack. So we're going to put the modem back here and the AC3200 router and, and uh, Wi Fi setup. So we'll have everything concentrated in one place. And rather than shove it back there in the corner where it was, that far corner, I'm moving it over here so I can get access to it. And here are the four, four new internet lines to the new wall that we're installing that started this whole process. Tommy and I strung those the other day. It was kind of a bitch, but we got it. Strung it through the ceiling and over, way across the, way across over the basement and the ceiling and then down the wall that we're putting the new TV installation in for the home theater. So we have our work cut out for us here today. We're going to drink a pot or two of coffee and see if we can't get this get this thing squared away now. So we'll take a few shots as we go along. Okay, we're just starting. We'll be back to you later. Sign off for now. Okay, gang, we've got the cable modem installed. There's the ground and the barrel connection over there, take it out to the cable box outside. Got a little bit of short piece cable in to connect the modem. Running fine. Those blue lights mean she's hooked up to the cable system now. So we'll move on and we'll wire up the uh, router and the uh, Wi-Fi hook up here with the AC3200. All right, we're making progress. Here we have the modem hooked up to the cable system. Goes into the Wi-Fi router there. And that's working fine. The router then is over to our new switch. 24 port switch taking one of the ports and then the uh, first uh, port is being used to come down the side over here and plug into our main computer on the back panel, so now we'll check it out, make sure that all hookup all works right. Then we'll put the ends on our new cable. Four ports running over to the new wall. Plug them in. And we'll go to the wall side and we'll do a put a few ends on there and see how everything hangs together. We should have our network ready to go for a while, at least enough to finish our project. Then we'll do a little more work on it. Right now she's looking pretty good. 
Okay, new switch seems to be working fine. All the lights are blinking like they're supposed to. Plus blinking light. Yeah, that's what we call that. Plus this time blinking lights and yeah. Well. Okay, we're getting there. All right, we've got our four new internet lines, new ports. With the cable ends on there now, with the internet ends crimped on. Plugged into our switch. Now we'll go wire the other ends. And we got our router and Wi-Fi box in and our cable box over there pumping away. So there's uh, one port which goes to the other end of the basement. Not in the wall, just on the outside, and the other port goes uh, goes around to the to the PC. A local PC here, the main PC. The controller it controls the whole world. It's this one down here. It's at the amateur radio console. All right. I think. I think we're done in here for a while. Okay then. Whew. There's the other end of our new four ports internet ports. We'll have to <coughs> put the plugs on them. Actually we're going to put receptacles on this side and we'll mount them over there by the where that electrical outlet is. And then we'll have our four ports wired and ready to test out. Okay, well, let's get back at it here. Whew. Okay. Back at work on the internet wiring here. We split our cable there. We have four ports coming here to our entertainment wall. And the one port we're going to put a plug on. Well, we did put a plug on it already. And uh, we've got that running now to the back of the TV. We checked the cable out. The cable's good. Got to run to the back of the TV so we can check everything out. It's working good. Now now we're going to put uh, put these internet plugs, Cat 5e plugs, on the other three wires that we got coming over here. The three ports I call them wires because that's basically what they are inside. Except there's there are eight wires in each Cat 5 cable. So we're going to do that now, and we'll have the internet part of this project pretty well taken care of. There the there's a bundle of the other three internet ports right there. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the switch room, we've got the three plugs put on our other three ports that run over there to the to the entertainment wall. And there's the one you'll notice it's got a red piece of tape on it, just like the one out there, so we can tell which is which. That's hooked up to our new switch. There, the uh, green lights are showing you that they're active. Okay, we got that hooked up. We've got the uh, old network stuff hooked into these other ports, along with the with the uh, internet from the router, the Wi-Fi router, and there, of course, is our cable modem, which we installed over here at the beginning of this process. So, this will be our main switch room here when we're finished. As well as all the ham radio hookups here too that we showed you I think the other day. So I'm going to have to work on that crap again. I have no idea where all that stuff goes because I didn't make a schematic. I was going to. I was going to make a schematic when I wired it all up. It's not bad when you go from wire to wire. But now it's, it's what you call a jumbled mess. That's the technical term for it. So... As long as I don't have to get back there and screw with anything, well, I'm okay. If I have to do that, I'm in trouble. Oh well. I guess that's how it goes, gang. When you're an amateur. Hey. Okay. Getting ready to put the these punch down sockets on the ends of the three 
support cables we got coming out here to the wall. Use these tools. We use the punch down tool, the punch down block. Here's the cable tester. We'll use that when we get them together to make sure the cables are built right. We didn't make a wiring error. Something us old timers need a lot doing this kind of stuff is a is a uh, magnifying glass. We got our cable stripper tool here and crimper. Then we got a couple of different pairs of side cutters or dikes, whatever you want to call them. That should about do it. We're not going to show you how to do this because there are lots of places on the internet that already do it, so we're just going to go ahead and do it. Not waste the film on it. Wait! Film? <laughs> I'm showing my, I'm really showing my age with that comment. <laughs> I won't waste the electrons on it. How's that? Okay. Stand by. Okay, we punched our wires down. Hope we got them in the right slots. Now we're going to test our cable. This is the second one we're doing here. So I'll show you how we test it. Alright. We're going to plug into the tester. Tester goes on both ends of the cable. And uh, we'll plug that in here after I set the camera down to do it. Okay, we got the tester plugged in to our new cable end. Now we'll go back at the other end of the cable in the equipment room and we'll we got the other half of the cable tester in there and we'll test the cable. Okay, hang on. Okay, now we're back in the switch room again. We've got these two cables to finish. There are two that we have already finished and identified. They're plugged into the switch. Okay, I have to set this down to maybe you can see it here if I do it like this. Here's the tester. We'll plug one of these cables in here. We don't know which one yet. We're going to find out. I think we'll plug it in here. Get in the right slot, it helps. Okay. Now we'll turn the tester on. See there, we got that green light blinking, but it's trying to test those eight wires in there. It's not getting anything on that one, so hopefully either the cable's bad or on the wrong cable. So we'll plug in the other cable over here. Take a look at that baby. There she goes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She says, you got her, Dick. That's what that means. We'll do it a little slower. Testing uh, wire one, wire two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also test for ground, but we don't have a ground in these cables, so it just passes that and goes back to wire one. So that means we've been cables identified and it's uh, in good shape, so we're ready to put our color-coded tape on it and we'll go back and do the last cable. All right gang, arrivederci. Okay, we have the last socket put on on our final cable here so next step is to run in and test it. We've hooked it up to the cable tester on this end. So we'll go back to the switch box, our switching system in the back room there and we'll check it out and see, make sure she's all right. Then we're fin finished with the internet cabling for our new entertainment wall. Alright, we have our final cable tagged and with a blue piece of tape. So, now for the acid test, we'll plug her in and see how she looks with the cable tester. Okay, here we go. Hope you see that. Hey, look at there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow her down a little bit. Make sure she hangs in there steady. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, ground, no ground. Okay, that's it. We'll plug this baby into the switch and we're fine. Turn off our tester. Take her up here to the test. We'll put her in, put her in part four. Okay. There we are. All right. Okay. These four ports are reserved for a wall. That's where they go. And we've got them all. We got them all color coded, so we know what's going up there. And uh, I think we've got it, guys. By Jove, I think she's got it. All right. A job well done. Time for a scotch or a beer. Okay.